going to show us that we are united, we are working together, we're going to kick some butt. All right, here we go. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Rumai. Rumai. Rumai ha. Ha. All right, let's go get some work done. The high rise residential should go here. And the people that this displaces. But, but yeah. then there's a level of like, I don't want to tune out the world, yeah. you know? I need to like, know what's going Embrace on, it, yeah. but like, also know how, where, where the point is where I pay attention to my body and I'm like, receiving information and then I start feeling pulled down by it, then I'm like, okay, pause, I need to like, integrate this, you know? And then like, go back to it when I feel ready and mm -hmm. full in myself again, because if I just stay there and I get, like I can go deep into like the conspiracy things right, exactly. and like all this stuff and like yeah, it's and not even conspiracy, just like what the fuck? Right. Like there are a few people controlling everything yeah. right now and it's crazy. And also we are like mycelium and that's how it's going. Mm -hmm. And mycelium is way more powerful than a human being. You know what I mean? All and of us are smarter than any of us. It's so amazing and so yeah, like maybe channeling, maybe seeing how it wants to channel yeah. into like the uplift because what I've found is like if we tried to motivate everyone to come out to this action day by saying like 
things are so messed up in the world and like everyone should be working harder you guys yeah. come out you should like really like you know people would be like yeah no thanks daunting. you know yeah. Yeah. whereas if we're like we're gonna have a party we're gonna right. plant yeah. stuff yeah. it's Music. gonna be fun life will be food all your like, favorite people are gonna yeah, be there you make, your it, tribe. make it like look what's happening in the yeah. world look at what's going on this is so cool and people are like i want to be part of that you know it's, it's a whole different yeah, orientation I've seen people walking by and they're like what's From going on here totally. and a lot of the big reason why we yeah. do this stuff and it's not just about like planting gardens, right? It's not just about, you know, food. It's about a whole lot more than that. And that's why we take it into action because it's more than just talking about these concepts and starting to get a more like better understanding of ecological function and how we base human life within that. But for a lot of us, it's actually about how can we create autonomy for communities, right? How can we create our own personal autonomy and freedom? How can we create just communities, right? And that's why we're orienting folks to this entire picture of the history of this land. We can't just start at today, like, okay, I was born into a culture of consumerism. I was born into a culture of separation, disattachment. I want to get away from that. So we're going to start through this connection to ecology, connection to each other, start to create this world of permaculture. You know, there's this symbol from, from Africa called the Sankofa. And that means that to know our future, we have to know our past, right? We have to look back on history to inform how we go forward in this world, right? So that's why we're starting with the information about the history of this land and the indigenous people who lived here and the process of colonization. And also more recently, what this place was 50 years ago, right? This was low income housing projects. This was housing for people of color, housing for low income people and poor people. And then that was displaced in 1999 when all of this housing projects all around the country at the same time started getting taken down. So this isn't just about coming out here and doing gardens. We have to deal with this unfortunate situation right now of the displacement of these three urban farms that have been growing food for people for the last five years here. And we want to show the resilience of our community and say, okay, we can take those down the block and we can you know, move them into the next location. But it's also about us all coming together and envisioning, having this conversation, saying, wait a second, this isn't just about like the gears of capital. This isn't just about you know, how the system functions. We actually have self-determination. We get to decide what our world looks like. We get to look at each other and say, okay, what do we actually want to see in this space, right? Do we want to see urban oh, farms here? Do we want to see people housed? Do we want to see healthy watersheds? Do we want to see healthy ecological systems and healthy people and common spaces for people to be together? So that's what this is about. It's about coming out here and starting to embrace that social permaculture aspect of it. And really look, if this is about people care and earth care and fair share, which is these permaculture ethics, then this is about really addressing everything and looking at how human habitation can kind of base itself off these ecological principles. And a lot today we're hearing is justice has to be at the forefront of this, right? This can't just be about justice. ecological restoration. We need to bring justice to the forefront, make sure everybody's at the table as we move along, right? So I just want to thank folks for coming out here and taking part in that and uh, yeah, being yeah, part. That's why we're here, man. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? That's my D holes here. Yeah. I want Brenda. I want you to know that some of us are pushing back. Some We're of us are pushing back. Space. We're gonna claim a space. This is indigenous land. And we're doing a direct action today and claiming space on behalf of our homeless brothers and sisters. Amen. Yeah. Like, this beautiful natural landscape. A lot of people don't leave the city limits, you know, especially those who are working a lot and low income. So to come to a garden to just be, to connect with nature, like not only connect with their food, but just to, there's such a therapeutic value in community gardens that. How do you measure that? I mean, we we set aside so much open space in the city limits for parks because we recognize that it is an asset to the community, that people need that. And we're like dumping a bunch of chemical fertilizers on them and irrigating them in a semi-desert environment. Um, so it's like the same thing. We are providing therapy, we're providing open space, we're providing connection to nature, and we're also feeding people good healthy food. It's the obvious answer. <laughs> Who's had a hard time with trusting? Especially in the universe, and just, you know, playing co passenger to your co pilot to your own life, you know what I'm saying? I've had a difficult time, but it's turning out rather well. Yeah. Brought me to y'all here today, so grateful. This is
looking for volunteers to go plant some plants. If you guys want to help spread the word. Yeah, man. Yep. 20 minutes of work for 20 people. I invite you to be vulnerable, to feel your feelings, and to let your rage and your pain show through so that we can heal it. That's why we're here today. Thank you, everybody. This is a tie back to Martin Luther King. He wanted to have a tent city to call for uh, better housing, better uh, jobs. Resurrection what? Uh, Resurrection Village. Village all right. He was trying to get a tent city built on the Washington Mall to call attention to poverty and to pass a, a poor people's economic bill of rights, uh, which would have ensured um, fair wages, which would have ensured decent housing. So this yeah. is the Homeless Bill of Rights. Homeless Bill of Rights is about uh, legalizing sleeping in public. Got you, got you. Um, About being able to rest in public without uh, fear of harassment. But it's new energy behind it. So the struggle is, is imperative in the quantum leap. Like you have to have resistance for it to build up the pressure. Yep. And the pressure is, is on now. I mean, like you stated some quotes about the homeless rates around the country are, are phenomenal. And you know, we, we're reaching epidemic tide proportion. It's like the sooner we can get these gardens in, the sooner we can get these villages started, the faster we can begin this eco transformation. Right. Eco, not ego, you know, <laughs> moving beyond ourselves into the greater cells you that we don't are. Have like a freaking Twitter or Instagram so, or yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, come over. That's to what I need. Mm. Yes. My name is Lynn Eagle Feather. Lynn Eagle Feather, it's a very good pleasure to meet you. It's an honor. Did you speak earlier today? Was that you? Okay. So, can I ask you why you're here today and what brings you here? Um, I was invited to the event on Facebook and I've been um, uh, living in Denver for 40 years, so I thought I would come down and be part of the community and seeing it being involved in the bettering of this um, situation that we have with the homelessness and the, and the, and the people going hungry. Um, I was ha myself homeless for three and a half years and, and now off the streets and, and I didn't know what it feels like. And I am a member of the Sikandu Lakota tribe. Yeah. South Dakota. So um, this is Cheyenne Arapaho land, I guess, but it, it, it but it is all our land now. It's all and it belongs to us all. Mother Earth belongs to us all, and we all need to take care of her, like and take care of her, like she's my mother. This is such a good reminder. Thank you. Uh, I think a lot of the people here believe that, and that's why they're coming together to do something for that cause. Ah. I only pray that all our people can remember. That's all we need to do, remember.